Hi everyone, I'm Nicole van der Hooven and I just joined K6 today. Like literally, I just got my Nicole at K6.io email address a few hours ago. So suffice it to say that I'm pretty new to K6. Apparently at K6, they have this thing called a week of testing where every new member to the team, regardless of what their role is, has to spend their first week just kind of playing around with a product um, with no real structure, just trying to use it like an end user rather than, you know, someone who's on a team that builds it. So I thought that it was a really great idea and I thought it would be cool to also take all of you along with me and maybe you'll get something out of my experiences. So the first thing that I asked was, what is K6? And what is the difference between K6, Load Impact, and K6 Cloud? So here's what I found out today. Load Impact is actually the name of the company. Um, that's what that's what you call, I guess, that's the legal name that the company goes by. K6 was actually the free and open source tool that was developed. That's the load testing tool, so you can use it to script. Now, you can use K6 on its own. Like it's completely free. There's no difference in versions between that and K6 Cloud. Um, so it's the best option for developers who might already have a solution for you know deploying for scaling up those k6 tests on on their own infrastructure or on their own cloud accounts um, it does have a lot of integrations as well on the results analysis front so i've learned that it integrates with a whole bunch of different um, kind of solutions like amazon cloudwatch datadog and even um, as an apm new new relic and we're actually going to be talking more about that as well so K6 Cloud, on the other hand, is kind of, it's a different offering, but it's independent from K6. It basically takes exactly the, the K6 tool, so the open source component, and puts it in a package. So it's, think of it like a one-stop shop for, for load testing. Not only does it give you the scripting part, but it, it allows you to use our infrastructure. So you don't need to worry about how many virtual users you're running on how many load generators we provision the, the machines for you and also take care of the results analysis part so that it's all a web interface that you just log into and um, you can share that more easily with the rest of your team too. So the K6 cloud component is not free because um, that's, the, that's the SaaS part of it. So what you're paying for is the ease of use of a solution that's completely knitted together already. I've also been told that using K6 to refer to really all three of those is okay unless you, you want to distinguish between you know the open source tool and the cloud offering. So I'm just gonna say K6 unless someone tells me otherwise. Um, and one thing that I wanted to find out in my week of testing is that K6 has always marketed themselves as the best developer experience for load testing. Except I'm not a developer. I am a performance tester and I have been for the last almost decade. So what I'm interested in finding out is what is it like to use from a load tester's perspective? I'm hoping that the answer is going to be positive, but I don't actually know. I will wait until the end of the week and I'll, I'll get back to you on that. I guess we'll find out the answer together.